when the story is told of Mary's conception of the child, it is said that she, um, she was already in a place of being a handmaiden to the Lord. She said, let my soul magnify that spirit. That's what the Holy Conception is about, saying, I want to be about that. I want to have the space welcoming consistently the spirit that I am, the one I am, that I am connected to, to that universal spirit of love, so that it might have its way in me, that I might go through the purification and the clarification so that virgin birth is happening in me. I know we get stuck on those words as though it means non-physical sexual experiences, but virgin birth is about the spirit of the Holy Ghost being uninterfered with and having its way in a sanctified place where we have opened ourselves to that spirit that is animating everything and allowing it to have its way to create its forms and to deliver us to, and for us to deliver into the world the form that would magnify that spirit. I've had a couple of conversations recently about the symbol of Christmas gifts coming and oftentimes we receive things not certain how they are to play a part or even having them look like something we'd want in our life, but to welcome that experience and realize we are in this cycle from alpha to omega, a long story, as David spoke last week about what the Maccabees did and what happened with Abraham, Abraham first, then what the Maccabees sustained of the sacredness of what he brought. And then the same voice of the angel when the Christ child Behold, I bring you tidings of good joy for all people. When something is born, when we conceive with the Holy Spirit, it is for all people. It is the birth of spirit into the world. And when we sanctify a place where it can be received, and we don't decide that we know best how it should be, we allow that outworking to happen because we're participating in it, not as a passive observer and not as a manipulator, but as a servant, a handmaiden. I'm not sure what the masculine version of handmaiden is, but to be available to the spirit of the Holy Ghost, to tend and keep what is happening in the womb, to sustain something, have no demands, and constantly be surrendered, open, and holding the spirit of the womb. It has been said after Christ left, there was a time of Pentecost. There was an opportunity for something to be held so something could be born. It can always be a time of Pentecost if we're holding that space, allowing the Holy Ghost to come in and fill and not allow our mind or our emotional realm to interfere with that process to let the child of life be born.